back, everybody, to Blue Friday 2020. We're just dancing back here again. Yeah. Um, you know, we love, <laughs> the, we love the style. I love the music. Um, we're, we are back. One o'clock. Yes. One o'clock. And we got an amazing episode for you guys today. Um, I want to run through what we we're going to run through every episode. <laughs> we got $10,000 in giveaways for you guys today with a grand prize of $2,500 at 7 p.m. Eastern. You got to stick around for that. You got to sign up for that on the website. Um, we're running sales in the U.S., Canada, Europe, and United Kingdom up to 20%. So if you want to buy a water box, if you're in the market for an aquarium, uh, which is that's why you guys are here, right? I think so. Today's the day to I do it. So. Um, we're live until 7 p.m. Make sure you like the stream, share it with all your friends and family, as well as uh, subscribe to our channel and hit those notifications. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so we got sales. Uh, you got up to 20% off of aquariums. Uh, we got f up to 580 on saltwater, 776 on freshwater. We've got financing available in the U.S., Canada, and the EU. Yeah, so. that's a big deal. You guys definitely go on there. If you, if you want to get approved for financing, it doesn't affect your credit score at all. Let's get if this you do or you started, don't. right? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Boom. Oh. Yay, Turn there your we speakers are. up for that one, guys. <laughs> all right, we're that's working a, through all the technical stuff. That's a headbanger stuff. right there. I love it. It is a lot, and not even really for us, it's them over there, but every single hour we're bringing people in on Skype, we're setting everything up and all this stuff. Um, it's like, a lot of little things going like on. It's like reconfiguring a live broadcast in about like 15 minutes after the other stream cuts. So yeah, it's, like, it's a little bit more daunting than the usual wait Wednesday yeah. show. I'll post a picture <clears> of what's going on back there maybe after the show so you guys can see. We're taking an hour break at 2 p.m. <laughs> Think to um, get our get our heads in back in check and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, you, but we're back here doing something pretty cool about talking reef keeping in Europe. Yeah, but. we are. Yeah. So guys, if you if you did not tune in to the first two episodes today, we dropped a new product. Very excited about this. And one. I'd like to show you guys that video again so you can learn a little bit about it. So I want to introduce to you guys Promax. There you have it guys, amazing new system uh, available for pre-order in the U.S. starting today, so definitely check that out. Yes, yeah, so that is the largest 
production, yes. brimless aquarium. I think I just like to say that. <laughs> it, I do. It does roll off the tongue very nicely. It's kind of special, so I enjoy <laughs> saying that. Uh, so yeah, definitely check that out. That is on the website for uh, taking deposits on that one in the U.S. Um, <clears throat> only at this point. But today for this stream, we're talking about reef keeping in Europe. Yes. And you know this things cool are different topic. in different countries, so it's gonna be kind of cool insight to yeah. hear what they keep, how it's done, just what the differences are mm -hmm. like over there. So yeah. um, for this one, we actually have Tobias from Sea Friendly Reef, who's yeah. over in Germany. Welcome, hello. Welcome, Tobias. If you guys don't know who Tobias is, definitely go <clears throat> head over to his YouTube channel, Sea Friendly Reef. Make sure you subscribe to him um, and check out his, he's got some amazing content. So welcome. Thank you. And Thank you for inviting me to the event of the year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. So let's jump right into it. Real quick, real quick, Tobias. So during this episode, we have, how many giveaways is this? We got five? Five. Five giveaways. So we're giving away during this episode an AI Nero 5, a Prime HD with the flex arm, a $300 gift Whee! card, and two Waterbox Aquariums t-shirts. So That's pretty cool. You guys got to stick around until the end to win that. Yeah, so we're really excited to have you here. Um, definitely, um, anyone who doesn't know, go and subscribe to Sea Friendly Reef um, on YouTube. Some great content over there. And, you know, we're going to learn a little bit about what it's like for reef keeping, um, you know, different from here. Because we don't, we don't know. So it'll be a good insight <laughs> for everyone. Um, but first, like, tell us a little bit about you. Yeah, so my name is Tobias Nair. Uh, I'm 26 years old and I'm a student uh, of become a teacher in the uh, biology and in the art. So take care of what you say because I'm going to teach your children. <laughs> <laughs> I started this hobby um, about seven years ago. So I bought my first uh, reef tank on eBay. So. Uh, at first, maybe I've got to say I'm not the best in English, uh, so if I need a word, just say we believe in you, and maybe it comes to me. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you're doing great, man. You're doing great. No worries at all. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, the the um, system of the channel was an uh, art project for university. So I decided to uh, create a video of my own tank. It was a little nano, about 20 gallon. And um, I put that on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I've got a, a lot of views and people say, wow, we want to see some more uh, awesome tanks in Germany, in Europe. So that would become my passion. And uh, <laughs> I started the channel and uh, got some invasions all over Europe, all over the world for filming reef tanks and um, yeah, that's the coolest hobby I can imagine because I see so many exciting setups. Wow, every time I, uh, I think that's it, nobody can top that. Somebody came to me and say, hey dude, I've got reef tank, take a look. And I say, what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's amazing what uh, Europe has to, uh, has to give in that hobby. Uh, it would be great to get some uh, insights into other um, countries like the US in, in Corona times. It's not that possible. I've got some some invitings from Australia that would be also very great. But uh, in that time, we have to focus on Europe, on Germany. And yeah, I know that we have got a lot of awesome reefs I have to film. There's a lot of stuff planned in the next time, so you can look forward to it. <laughs> That's got to be pretty cool because you get to go around and look at some of the best aquariums that there are and, you know, get footage of it and, like, get to see it firsthand where most people just get to watch it through videos. But, you know, you, you at least are presenting to them all these, like, beautiful, amazing. And over in Europe and Germany, there's so many nice tanks over there. Yeah, Germany um, is a great, I mean... It, as far as the industry goes, it's, the hobby is pretty big in Germany, is it not, Tobias? Yes, exactly. So we've got some great companies here in Germany. For example, Grotech, uh, Tunzel, ATI, Royal Exclusive. All these companies are stayed here in Germany, so we are directly on the source. <laughs> <laughs> and you, uh, 
you just um, have it, and you have it on your YouTube, is your water box frag build. Exactly, yes. <laughs> it's just four weeks old, but uh, let's have a look. Wow. <clears throat> Got some beautiful corals in here. So this is Mango. the four-foot frag? Yeah, 105.4. The 105.4. Only four it's weeks old. It definitely looks older than that. It looks beautifully nice. The nice big corals, very clean. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the top-down shots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I focused completely on LPS and a few fish, but... Um, in the time this video was created, uh, I ordered some awesome alveoporas. Um, I can't say, uh, I can't uh, get that into the video in this time. So um, maybe you see it in the background. There are some changes in the last two days. Um, so let's uh, get some updates in the next weeks on the channel. And this tank will be absolutely great because I've got the most inspired inspiration you can imagine <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and every time I I go to uh, those private persons and check out these tanks I get some more ideas and I know oh man I have to order some new corals because this is awesome I want to have a lagoon tank and an aquascape which is completely different so uh, yeah that's that's hard to get all these tanks directly with a uh, in the front so yeah <laughs> it's got to be hard to go to all these tanks especially big ones or all these ones that have like amazing amount of corals and then like restrain yourself from having probably a hundred tanks in your house <laughs> and buying every coral that you can find that's exactly what i was thinking i was like if i was doing that all the time i would be so broke yeah because i would have I'd be like, everything oh my god i want that i want that i want that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, also there are some setups i don't want to have so um, I can already uh, take a look at mine and say, no, that's, that's the point I want to be, and that's okay for me. So uh, mm -hmm. I also see um, levels I don't want to reach because it's too much time you have to spend for those systems. Um, I um, know people who completely live for this hobby the whole day, and that's too much for me. So I want to have my job. I want to do this as a hobby as it is, and a um, system like this can uh, can give that to you because it's completely automatic. You have to feed, you have to test your water, and that's it. So you have to get enough uh, private time. Okay. That's important. Yeah. Yep. Keenan, I think you have a question. So we have a you question. Have several people saying they can't believe that that's four weeks old, that tank. Is that correct? Yeah, <laughs> it's four weeks old, yeah. I bought some uh, very huge corals also from my old tank. So um, maybe around about 50% of the corals are from my old setup. Um, and yeah, that's four weeks old. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. What would be like some of your favorite types of fish and corals to keep? Yeah, so I've got one fish inside. I know it's not on YouTube, uh, so you uh, you are the first to know what fish is in here. It's yeah, it's nothing special, but it's a short fin turkey fish. Uh, it's a dream of mine. Uh, I want to have something toxic in my reef tank. <laughs> <laughs> they are just so little. They are about four centimeters. So um, wow. Yes, these are my little babies. <laughs> That's cool. I can look forward to it. another reason for everyone to go ahead and follow them on YouTube, um, just so you can see these updates of these new corals that have gone in and these cute little fish and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, follow along with as this tank kind of grows in and then see all the other beautiful ones uh, yeah. that he gets to go visit. Lucky, lucky person. <laughs> Please, thank you. <laughs> Keenan well, has some people asking um, what his YouTube channel is, and we'll just go ahead and throw it up on, on the screen here so you can see it. Yeah, we also posted it, uh, Keenan, it's, and Tobias, there is a link in the description of the video on YouTube and Facebook to go over to his channel. But there you go, Sea Friendly Reef. So check that out. Um, Going to be a lot of cool stuff to see, or just all the videos you can see that he's already done of all the mm -hmm. beautiful aquariums. Um, you know, what is reef keeping like in Germany and um, Europe? Like, how, yeah. how is 
the hobby, the industry, all of that. Specifically, Tobias, like in regards to like, what is the aquaculture scene like? Is there a pretty big sense of community within like the hobbyists and things like that? Like, what is that like uh, in Germany? Yeah, so uh, I think maybe similar to the US, we have got some Facebook groups or WhatsApp groups. So we, we, we first are all in connection if you want to be part of this community. I also know people who does not want to share those experience or those things with uh, some others. So that's just for them. But normally we are in connection with so those groups. Yeah. Um, at first I started this channel. I was, uh, I didn't know that there are so many awesome setups in, in Germany. So I thought I'm one of the only persons in that country uh, who Tank <laughs> and I, I get into that community. So um, yeah, we've got absolutely awesome people with some huge knowledge here in Germany, and um, yeah. So normally Instagram also. So Super and Reef has a huge uh, Instagram channel, and uh, we are connecting people with with each others because we are uh, showing those things. People write to us and want to know exactly how this setup is built, for example. Hmm. And we get in connection with the owner and bring all those people together. Very cool. Keen is letting us know it's time to give away two shirts. Okay, so all right, so we're going to do some giveaways. He is letting us know it's time break. for shirt time. <laughs> 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 all right, so we're going to give away two shirts as one of our first giveaways for the stream. And Keenan has them ready. Drum roll. Boom. All Corey right. Cantor and Russ Johnston. Congratulations on the shirts. If you guys don't win a shirt today, you can hop over to the waterboxaquariums.com. You can pick these super comfortable Waterbox logo tees up for 10 bucks today, which is a killer deal. Yeah, very cool. So definitely check that out. All right. So first giveaway, we're just kind of throwing them in there yeah. throughout the thing. Yeah. Uh, Keenan's letting us know with time. And um, so I guess we'll go back to talking. Okay. Tell us talk more about um, kind of like the equipment and like trends and stuff like that over there. Yeah, like maybe like the most popular lighting, you know, what are, what are people using for lighting, pumps, is there, are controllers big? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, especially in Germany, you have got a lot of uh, T5 guys, so not everybody is changing to the LEDs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see uh, many uh, American uh, US tanks I don't know if you already have T5 <laughs> because I just see the LEDs. Um, also, me, I always use the LED technique, but uh, I see a lot of tanks are uh, just on the old concepts with the T5 and the owners say no, just T5. There's no LED coming over my tank. So um, hmm. that, that's the first one. And um, yeah, pumps and, and something like that is, I think, nearly to the US. So I don't know if we've got a lot of other uh, equipment here, because if I um, see all those US tanks or all those Indonesia tanks, Australia tanks, I see nearly the same technique into the cabinets like here in Germany. Very cool. Yeah, I, I do notice that, uh, that I have seen a lot of T5s, you know, in the groups over in Europe still, whereas in the US, T5s, I mean, when they're still used in combination with LEDs here, but how long has it been? I mean, they've really kind of been phased out over like the last four or five years. More than that. I remember, uh, I don't know, it was probably like eight years ago, T5s were still like all the rage. They've kind of taken over from Metal Halide. T5s yeah. were it. And then it was like people started to say, okay, maybe LEDs to go with my T5s for the shimmer. And then suddenly, you know, I'd say probably, I don't even know when that first started, but like six, seven years ago, is when like the first LED lights kind of yeah. started hitting the market and you started to see people switch completely to LED. Right, right. Um, I always loved T5s with some LEDs back in the day, but even I found myself over the years converted over to right. the LED. But they, yeah, T5s and metal halides and stuff like that are really hard to find and use in the US. I don't even know where to buy them anymore, to be honest. But that's kind of interesting that maybe there's a little bit of a lag time. Now, what about in regards to aquaculture? You know, like fragging corals, you know, in the US, uh, the shops and the online stores have almost moved, 
I would say almost exclusively to selling frags. They have to their a certain own extent. farms at the aquaculture. Farms. Yeah. Is that common in Europe? Yeah, interestingly, yeah. So uh, we have got also uh, some uh, companies completely go into that frag system, but uh, especially if you uh, have some imports, Indonesia, Australia, you have got the whole big, huge corals like in mine tank. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, normally we've got also the frags. There are some companies, for example, breeding those corals. Um, they they get some imports and completely fragging them and put these frags into other tanks for growing them up, for selling them at huge corals. So I, I know they take a while, but that's the system in Germany. So also fragging, especially when you've got some nano tanks in Germany, you normally have some smaller tanks like in the US. <laughs> Maybe we have not a place for that. <laughs> but uh, if I see US tanks, they normally are much bigger than in Europe. So I discussed with a friend of mine this week and we uh, thought about what's the typical tank size in Germany. And that's about 100 gallon. So wow, okay. Tank in Germany, normally, not always, but with 100 gallon, you say, oh, man, check that out. I've got a very big, big tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, big tanks here are definitely, I guess, just big. Like, we don't think about it, but, you know, we just released a 7 foot 320 gallon. Right. Um, and people have been asking for that. But to think of, like, the average large reef is 100 gallons over there, it's a very different for sure, right, like to right. think that from here that people are like two, 300 gallons is considered big. Yeah, a lot of people here will start out with, you know, like a four foot system, maybe 100 gallons, and then they graduate right up to like 300 gallons or 400 gallons. They, they want the biggest they can get and, you know, maybe even a custom tank some of the times, but that's pretty cool how that differs. Nice. Um, let's talk a little bit about the water box, so your frag tank. I've uh, been up and running for about four weeks. Like, what do you think of your water box? What do you like about it versus other aquariums you've had? Like, you know, tell us your experience with your water box. This is the first water box that you've had. Exactly. Yes, the first one. So I planned a shallow reef, a lagoon style, and uh, that dimensions are perfectly, uh, fits perfectly for my plan. So um, I ordered the 105.4 frag tank. And um, the first thing I, uh, I see are the tubes. So normally there are some drops or something else, but uh, I checked out your YouTube video for the construction <laughs> and you say, yeah, just a little bit. And I say, no, <laughs> I have to put that really hard. But I checked, uh, at first I, I tried to do it in the soft way and there were from day one, no drop nothing major perfect. So this was the first thing I uh, recognized that water box is something different. I have to say that, yeah. <laughs> um, the second thing is um, I love the sump of the tank because you have the, um, the support not in the middle of the tank. So it's changed to the left side that you have got enough, enough place in the sump. And we all know there's no, not, not, never enough space in it some so, um Yeah, that's absolutely perfect because all the technique um, gets some place. And um, that's absolutely insane. I've never seen that into a, a complete set of a reef tank. Um, normally, I just get the tanks from a special builders. So I say, okay, I want to have this dimension. Uh, how can we do that with the sum together? And that's a perfect system because here you can completely do everything you want to. doesn't matter if you want to have a fleece filter, if you want to have a big skimmer for those guys, have enough fish. For me, nothing important because <laughs> those corals doesn't need a, a huge skimmer. But uh, yeah, that's an absolutely insane in, uh, point. Uh, the other thing is the glass. I love the white glass because especially with the Hydra, uh, it seems like the whole tank is shining. If I've got every single light out of uh, my room and you can see it from the street like a, a huge shining diamond in my room. <laughs> always talk to you, what, what do you have in there? <laughs> 
That's awesome. I completely love this system. I uh, planned for the channel to um, create a new tank every year, so we've got uh, always another project, but I don't know if I can give that away. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see next year. I'm completely no with it. That's awesome. So glad to hear. I think Ian's got a couple questions for us. Oh, I just have uh, one question here that, that stood out to me, and, and somebody's asking um, <laughs> what species are harder to get there in Europe versus here in the U.S. That's a very hard question. So um, I don't know exactly if there are some fish we don't get in Germany. So normally this is not a problem because also we can import sea snakes and other st uh, stuff. So uh, I don't know exactly if there are some species we don't do not get because I think if you want to have something, you can get it. Doesn't doesn't uh, matter in, in what for kind of way, but we don't have some, um, I need a word. <laughs> so, uh, I would say one. a good way to kind of reword that maybe would be like, <clears throat> we have different coral trends that kind of happen here. It'll be chalices, it'll be bubble mush or, you know, bounce mushrooms. It'll kind of bounce over. Like what's the big, like high end, most wanted like coral trend right now? Yeah, so we are in a completely slowly trend, in my opinion. So there are many, many people just want to have the best scully they can find. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I think in the US it's, it's the same because I see a lot of scullies coming, scully tanks, completely dominated scully tanks coming from the US. Um, but in the other way, we have got a huge SPS hype in the last years. But I think it's going to change into the LPS. So uh, I, I know that there are a lot of LPS tanks dominating from Scully to Oviopora, Goniopora's. So yeah, that's, that's nearly the, the way it is in Germany. So I, I don't know if there are a special coral maybe we do not have here. So yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I think we trend pretty heavy in the LPS here in U in the U.S. Like yeah, um, chalices were huge, and they still are, but like those were like insane for a couple of years. I can see that a lot of people are kind of coming back to scolies and um, all of those, and like bounce mushrooms and stuff are still pretty big mm -hmm. for us. But I think um, I see less people doing SPS. I feel like it's gone more towards LPS mixed kind of reefs. Give me some star here. polyps, and I'm happy. Yeah, you simple. You're like easy <laughs> soft coral simple. And we got a question. The movement. So an SPS reef is absolutely fine because it's the typical reef construction. You cannot build that normally with the LPS coral, but uh, especially for filming for creating videos, I love the movement in slow motion. If you've got an oviaporo with all those polyps into an order, I love that. Love so it. you don't have with SPS, so that's the reason I wanted to have just only the LPS or the soft corals also. I, I knew some reefers going back to the soft corals. Um, so yeah, that's... Okay. Yeah, question? Yeah, we have a question here. Uh, Dalton is asking, uh, what is your favorite fish and coral? <laughs> uh, I'm a completely shark lover, completely. I know I cannot keep a shark in that tank. <laughs> uh, so mini shark, I would, I go directly. <laughs> so um, yeah, my favorite animals uh, are sharks also in reefs. Um, a friend of mine has a bamboo shark. So every time I visit him, I in front of that tank, uh, my little off, my baby. Uh, maybe some someday I'm going to keep some of those species. Um, the normal, normal fish you can keep in reef tanks, uh, the lionfish. So these short fin turkey fish I've got over there are my dream. And I know to handle them with care is very important, but uh, that's uh, a plus point for these fish because uh, I think it's, it's a kind of respect to an animal 
and if the animal can hurt you, your respect normally should not be higher, but is higher. You think twice if you go into that tank, because when it hurts you, you don't know. I don't know if uh, I've got an allergy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to try. <laughs> find out the hard way on that one. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can find me on the floor on the next uh, live stream. Yeah. So let's not find <laughs> out that way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, uh, my favorite color uh, coral is uh, the Aviopora. Yeah. So I've got a huge one over here. Oh, wrong side. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's my absolutely favorite coral, the green one. Uh, because I I love the night when it turns into a small stone and on the other day, bam, it mm -hmm. gets all these huge polyps. I love these types of cards. Yeah. All right, Tobias. Well, I appreciate it so much for you joining Thank us. Thank you. Again, um, if you guys, you guys need to hop over to his YouTube channel, Sea Friendly Reef, make sure you subscribe to him. He does beautiful videos. Um, amazing content and you guys can learn a little bit more about what they're doing over there in Germany. Um, so again, thank you so much for thank taking you. some time with us today. We appreciate it. All right. That so, was cool. Yeah, that's awesome. It's cool to, you know, it, what, that really ties in well with us being in Europe now, you know, so mm -hmm. those of you guys can participate uh in blue friday in europe we have a warehouse in amsterdam with tanks ready to go so i know i'm inspired i've looked at his you know his youtube and watched some videos but like i'm gonna spend time going back and looking at like all the tanks he's been able to visit and stuff because like yeah. he's you know the best tanks in that area he's gone and recorded and has on his um youtube channel so if you want to see like the best of the best go check it out yeah. drool a little bit um you know and enjoy so it's cool to see that kind of side of it but yeah. I think we have some more giveaways, right? We do. We have three specifically. Yeah, we have a couple of giveaways. We're going to paste them out here. Um, we okay. can start with the Nero 5. All righty. So, guys, Nero 5. We have a winner for that Ready? one already. Da -da 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 -da. Congratulations, Misty Alabama from Facebook for the Nero 5. Anyone who's winning, uh, just contact winner at waterboxaquariums.com and get them the information and they'll get you taken care of. Yep. All right, so we got a Nero five. We have a lot of giveaways. So we have to start like remembering like how many we actually have to go through. <laughs> well, guys, um, we're giving away ten thousand dollars in prizes today. We went freaking nuts with this this year. That's we're your always, fault. Yeah, I know. That's I'm, your. I, I'm surprised that accounting I even agreed no. with it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, it, it, I was shocked that we all agreed to the number that we did, but. It's amazing for you guys, and we're going all day long. We have the grand prize of $2,500 gift card at the oh very my. last stream, 7 p.m. We're going to do a toast giveaway, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We, we have the prime. We have an AI prime with the arm. All Ready right. Go. Ready, drop roll. Winner is Taylor, Taylor. Eckert. There from you YouTube. Go. <laughs> I'm always afraid I'm going to mess someone's name up. So congratulations, Taylor from YouTube. I butcher your names all the time. Yeah, I know. Don't be offended if I do. Yeah. I'm not good at pronouncing stuff. So um, uh, Prime HD with Flex Arm. So if you have a water box or you need to get one, you now have a light for it. The cubes and all-in-ones go perfect with that light. Um, are you ready for a gift card too? You ready to do the gift card? We're ready to do the gift card, Karen. All right, let's do this. It's a All right, guys. Three hundred dollar gift card for this is somebody. This going to come in handy over the next twenty four hours. So here we go. Yes, ready? Drum roll. Drum roll gift card. Winner is Ramona from right? Facebook. There All you right. Go. Congratulations. Three hundred dollars, man. That's awesome. Yes, that's a good one. So three dollar gift card. Um, so we've given away two shirts, a gift card, a prime with a light and arm, a and a Nero. All in one stream. Wow. We got to talk to someone out of Germany. Things are good. Like, this is a good, it's a good day, day. You guys. It is this a, is good, a day. good day. I'm feeling energetic. We got a ton of people in here with us. I know. I'm really, I am really. I appreciate all you guys that are watching live every stream, seeing people saying third in a row, they're going for all of them. <laughs> um, you know, that's, that's good dedication. We hope we're giving you some good content, information that you really enjoy watching. Yeah. Because we have a lot of fun being able to bring in and talk to all these different people. So, yeah. And, we have coming up. So, guys, we're going to take an hour break Yay! here. We got to eat. Thankfully, and we haven't done that before, <laughs> but we are taking an hour break. So, we're going to be back at 3 p.m. Um, and you do not want to miss the 3 p.m. episode. I'm super excited about this one. Yes. This is live fragging demo yeah. with our friends Alex and Ann um, from Living Reef here in Orlando. So, that's going to be fun. They're going to be here, coral saw, cutting things up. Um, 
It's going to be a really good one. Yeah, you guys don't want to miss this live fragging demonstration. I'm going to repeat that. Definitely tune in. <laughs> it's going to be some good information. So thank you, guys. See you at three. See you in a couple hours. Waterbox Aquariums now offers financing in the United States, Europe, and Canada. Visit Waterbox Aquariums for more information. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Remember we're live all day on Facebook and YouTube, so make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you're on YouTube, hit those notifications. Blue Friday sales are going all day Friday and Saturday, and we are live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so definitely join us. Thanks for watching.